Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the annoying Windows 10 upgrade notifications. I'm sure most of you that have a PC know what I'm talking about. Those are the notifications that you keep getting over and over asking you to upgrade to Windows 10. Now Microsoft has even gone as far as adding an icon that goes with it. So that's this icon down here. As you can see it says get Windows 10. And if you click on it, this window opens and it says upgrade now. According to Microsoft, Windows 10 was designed for speed and it should be compatible with all the programs, applications, and anything else that you have on your computer. Now I know somebody that upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and it was not compatible. The upgrade actually slowed down the computer and it caused the internet to stop working altogether. Anytime the web browser was opened, the page would fail to load and there was an error message saying that it was incompatible. When it comes to getting rid of the Windows 10 icon and the Windows 10 notifications, there's two different ways you can do it. You can turn off the notifications while you're using your computer and have it set so that they show up again once you restart. Or you can get rid of the notifications altogether. First I'm going to show you guys how to do this on a computer with Windows 8, and then I'm going to show you how to do it on a computer with Windows 7. If you just want to turn off the notifications for now, then all you have to do is click on this arrow down here in the bottom right hand corner, then click on customize. Now look for the GWX icon, so that should be the first one. Then you're going to change the behavior from show icon and notifications to hide icon and notifications. Then click OK. Now the icon should no longer be showing up. Now if you want to get rid of the notifications altogether, then you'll need to do a few things. The first thing you're going to do is open the task manager. Make sure you're in the processes tab, that should be the first one here. Now scroll down and look for GWX. It should be under background processes. Once you find it, you're going to select it and then click end task. Once you've done that, you have two options. You can either uninstall the update or you can delete it. I'm going to show you how to delete it. I'm going to open the file explorer, so that's this icon down here. Now I'm going to go to the C drive, then Windows. Then I'm going to go to SysWOW64. If you have a 32-bit computer, then you'll have to go to System32. Now select the GWX folder, right-click, and select Delete. If that worked for you, great. If not, then you'll have to take ownership of the folder and grant yourself full control permissions and rights. Now I'm going to show you how to take ownership of the folder. Right click on the folder, select properties, then go to the security tab and click advanced. Next you're going to click on change, click on advanced, and then find now. Select your username, click OK, click OK again, Check off Replace Owner on Subcontainers and Objects. Click Apply. OK. OK. And OK again. Now I'm going to show you how to grant yourself full control permissions and rights of the folder. Right click on the folder. Select Properties. Select the Security tab. And click Edit. Now select your username. Make sure that Allow is checked off beside Full Control, and click OK. Now click OK again. Once you do that, you should now be able to delete the GWX folder. After you delete the folder, go into the Recycle Bin, select the folder, right-click, and select Delete. 
and click Yes. If you've deleted the folder and you're still seeing the icon down here, then you'll have to uninstall the update. To uninstall the update, go to the control panel, System and Security, and Windows Update. Then click on Installed Updates. Scroll down to Microsoft Windows and select KB3035583. Right click on the update and select Uninstall. Then click Yes. Be sure to click Restart Later. Now you'll need to go back into Windows Update and change the settings. Click on Change Settings. In the Change Settings window, you're going to change important updates from Install Updates Automatically to Download Updates but let me choose whether to install them or Check for Updates but let me choose whether to download and install them and click OK. Now all you have to do is restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, the icon and notifications should be completely gone. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of the annoying Windows 10 upgrade notifications on a computer with Windows 7. If you just want to turn off the notifications for now, then all you have to do is click on this arrow here, go to Customize, look for the GWX icon, and change the behavior from Show Icon and Notifications to Hide Icon and Notifications. Then click OK. If you want to get rid of the notifications altogether, then you'll need to do a few things. First, open the Task Manager. Click on View Running Processes with Task Manager. Select the Processes tab. Look for GWX.exe. Select it and click End Process. And End Process again. Next, you're going to delete the update. Open the Windows Explorer. That's this icon down here. Then click on Computer and select the C drive. Now open the Windows folder. Now scroll down. Look for SysWOW64. If you have a 32-bit computer, then it will be System32. Double click on the folder to open it. Scroll down and look for GWX. Right click on the folder and select delete. If you get an error message like this, you'll need to take ownership of the folder and grant yourself full control, permissions, and rights. To take ownership of the folder, right click on it, select properties, go to the security tab, and click advanced. Now go to the owner tab, click on edit. Check off Replace Owner on Subcontainers and Objects. Select your username. Click Apply. OK. And OK again. Click OK. And OK again. Now I'm going to show you how to grant yourself full control, permissions, and rights for the folder. Right click on the folder. Select Properties. Go to the Security tab and click Edit. Select your username, check off Allow for full control, and click Apply. Click Yes, OK, and OK again. Now you should be able to delete the folder. Click Yes. Now open the Recycle Bin. Select the GWX folder, right-click, 
and select delete. Click yes. Now you'll need to uninstall the update. Open the control panel. Go to system and security. Then Windows Update. Now click on Installed Updates. Scroll down to Microsoft Windows and look for KB3035583. Now right click on the update and click on Install. Click Yes. Once that's finished, make sure you click on Restart Later. Now you're going to go back into Windows Update and change the settings. Now click on Change Settings. Now you're going to change important updates from Install Updates Automatically to Download Updates, but let me choose whether to install them, or Check for Updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them. Now click OK. You can now restart your computer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.